But first, I want to just quickly go into what are some of the machine learning related roles that you might see at companies. Um, and so a few of them are, you know, there's DevOps, there's roles like data engineer, there's roles like machine learning engineer, machine learning researcher, and data scientist. And so, you know, how can you make sense of all of these different roles and what's the difference between them? Um, so breaking it down a little bit, um, starting with DevOps engineer, um, typically what DevOps engineers do is they deploy and monitor production systems. And so the work product that they're producing as a result of their job is a deployed product. And the tools that they're using are you know, maybe AWS Lambda um, or you know, some other um, deployment tools. Data engineers are usually responsible for building data pipelines, you know, aggregating data, storing data, monitoring data, and their work product is often like a distributed system that allows you to kind of um, quickly access data for, for training. And so they're using things like Hadoop um, and Airflow um, as part of their regular workflow. Then there's machine learning engineers. And machine learning engineers are typically tasked with training and deploying prediction models. And so their work product is a prediction system, and often it's a prediction system that's working on real data in production. Um, and so these, these people are kind of bridging the gap between um, training machine learning models and being able to deploy them. Um, then there's machine learning researchers who, you know, the distinction between machine learning researcher and machine learning engineer is fuzzy in a lot of organizations. But typically, machine learning researchers are um, only responsible for the training prediction models piece. And then they hand off the model that they train to someone like a machine learning engineer to deploy it into production. Um, and there's a lot more of this is around kind of um, exploration of data and iteration and research as opposed to um, getting things in the hands of customers. And then finally, there's this role of data scientist. And this one is particularly nebulous because like, as far as I can tell, no one actually agrees on what a data scientist really is. And so I've heard this used to describe all of these things above, um, as well as like many other things. In, in many organizations, a data scientist is like someone who knows how to use Excel. <laughs> um, and in a lot of organizations, it's kind of someone who knows how to use Excel and also databases and train simple machine learning um, models to, to query, to answer like kind of business questions and write reports and communicate the results um, up to management. But um, also in some organizations, the role of data scientist really means something more like machine learning researcher or machine learning engineer. Um, so what skills do you need to actually do each of these jobs? Um, so on this chart, the left axis is kind of level of software engineering skill, and the um, bottom axis is level of machine learning knowledge. And then each of the roles is plotted on this two by two, and the size of the bubble corresponds to kind of how much communication and technical writing um, acumen you really need to be successful in this role. So starting with ML DevOps, this is basically a software engineering role. And you know, often these people just come from standard software engineering um, pipeline, and they're just kind of placed on a machine learning team. Um, data engineers, the most common arrangement that we've seen is that these, um, these folks are software engineers, um, and the machine learning team is their customer. Um, but they're also sometimes embedded in the machine learning team. Um, Machine learning engineer is like, according to a lot of people that we talk to, is kind of like um, a rare unicorn um, type role to hire for because it requires a very rare mix of, you know, actually, you know, deeply understanding machine learning and being able to train, um, you know, uh, state of the art models, um, but then also enough um, engineering skill to be able to make those models work with the rest of the code base and the workflow of the company. Um, and so uh, many people told us that this is actually the hardest role to hire for. And so you know, one, one thing that we've seen is that um, there's a, a pretty ra wide range of backgrounds that perform this role. And you know, some common ones are um, software engineers who have spent a lot of time self-learning machine learning, or um, often it's also science or engineering PhDs, um, but not, maybe not machine learning PhDs who have worked as software engineers for a while. Machine learning researchers, this is typically your, you know, your ML expert. And the most common background here is still um, uh, a master's degree or PhD in CS or stats. Um, but in, what's becoming increasingly common is to see people who have gone through you know, the Google Brain Fellowship or the Facebook Fellowship um, and move into a role like this. And sometimes you also do see people transition from 
um, more typical software engineering roles. Um, and then lastly, data scientists, since this is kind of a catch-all term, this can mean basically anything. You know, there, are, um, there are people coming straight from undergrad. Um, there are degree programs in data science now. Um, and, but then sometimes these, um, these folks are also you know, astrophysics PhDs who um, you know, decided to, to you know, move into, into the world of data science. <laughs>